Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Sauber Lab, and today I will show how you can install Home Assistant in the Docker Usual Portrait. Basically, in this video, I will go through the steps how you can install the Docker. A lot of people start to ask if I could show how I can install Home Assistant in the Docker, because they don't want to use a dedicated equipment only for the Home Assistant, not yet at least. They want to understand and see if they will use as much as they expect after this one, they will think to invest in another device only for this one. If you like this idea and you want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show, but first, don't forget to leave your like, subscribe for the channel, and let's do it. First thing that we're gonna do is open the website for Home Assistant, where we can understand what is this Home Assistant. Quick one, Home Assistant is the application or operating system that make your automizations for your house. You can control your light, you can control your heat, you can control some activities, make some activities for you according from your necessities. You can have a lot of integrations. You can integrate your Alexa with your TV or you can integrate any smart device to work it in such a way that uh, you can uh, do any activity to make easier life. You can run it in different equipment, but what normally they tell is you can run in a Raspberry Pi or you can run uh, as a cloud. In our case, we're not gonna run in a, as a cloud, we're gonna run in a Docker. So we can come here and get start, and the get start, we can come here and put installation. Installation, they have a few types of installations. They have the installation for as operating system, they have as a container, they have as a core or supervision. Basically, if we go a little bit down, they will explain what's the difference between them. If you go for OS, you can have a full installation. This one will be the case when you install the Raspberry Pi. If you're gonna install the OS for the home system, you're gonna have all the application running well. You can have automation, integration, blueprints, supervision, ads, backups, management OS, you're gonna have all the functionality for Home Assistant. But in our case, we're gonna install in a container, in a Docker container. As we are installing a Docker container, they will have some limitations. They will not have the supervision, so we will not be able to have the VPN installation, zero tier, tail scale, you're gonna need to install directly in your Docker. As well, you're gonna have some limitation for some uh, Visual Basic and other applications that normally in the supervision, you can do it straight away. You can do it in another way, but it will be a little bit more complicated, not so direct as installing the supervision. As well, you will not be able to do backup, so if you have any problem and you want to recover it, you need to do external backup or do backup for all the folder for your Docker. That is not a problem, but you need to be aware of it. And you cannot manage OS. If you go to the core option, it's less neat. You cannot uh, use containers, you cannot use containers and other things. And the supervised, you only cannot manage the US. But as I told, we're gonna install as a container. If you go up here, the standard Home Assist can be installed in uh, Raspberry Pi, Audion, Asus, generic US, Intel and everything. But we're gonna install as others because we are looking to have a Docker container. Here, you can always install in a virtual machine as well, will be similar for OS. You can install this uh, open system in a virtual machine, so you can come in a virtual box, a Proxmox or a VMware. You're gonna have to experience a full device, but you need to have at minimum two gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, and uh, two v CPUs. They explain how you can do the installation, what the steps that you need to do, but not follow it. We go down, down, down. And here they say that you can run directly in the Docker run. We want to run as the Docker Compose to the portrait. So here they show the option for the Docker Compose. They suggest you to run as a Docker Compose.iml. But we we'll not do it because with this last update or the last update for the portrait, they're already able to run a revision tree. So we'll copy only this Docker Compose and that will come in our portrait. Our portrait will run this Docker Compose version 3, but you need to be aware that uh, if you are really old, the version will not work. At least the version that I'm running, 2.9, it's working fine without any problem. And we already have all the new settings. To do these installations easy, we come here in stock. In stock, we click in add a new stock. 
and we paste this information. Here we can copy this name of a home assistant and we use exactly the same name of the container. At least we save time. Now, only thing that you need to change is the path for configuration. To define the path for configuration, we're going to open our OpenMediaVal web page where we can come here in share folders. Here in the share folders, the absolute path that I'm looking is this one where I have the folder called Docker PP. So I come here and put inspect. I double click in my name because it will be difficult to tape it and at least I can only copy this information that I want and I come here back in our portrait and I change my path where I already copied my open media vow. If you're not using the open media vow, you need to use the absolute path that you can discover in your operating system that you're running. As well, you can run as a volume, but then it will be a little bit more difficult to add some extra information without to, to do the proper mount. So here we can put uh, the name Home Assistant. Otherwise, if you don't put the name of the folder that you want to create, they will create it right in the Docker and will be a lot of documentation. And each application that install in Docker will be more documentation and will be a mess. So to avoid it, we can create our folder Home Assistant. Here in HCA, local time we can leave exactly the same because they will look some information for local time we don't need to stress about it the policy will be hey start and let's stop the privileges will be true and the network mode will be host once that we define only this configuration folder we can come here and deploy the stack and that's the will install this stack once that appear is stack successfully deployed we can come here in the container we can click in the home system and we click in log. In log, they will appear done. So if appear done, it means that has been installed, everything should be right. Now we can access our home assistant. To access our home assistant is really easy. We use the port 8123. So we will change here, 8123, and put enter. Once that I open the red show this page where I can create my first user. So we'll put Sauber Lab and the same username and my password. Need to be exactly the same, otherwise not work. Create, then the name I will set for Cyberlab, why not now? Uh, my location, let's find my location here. Uh, here, perfectly, I leave more around here. So now we can uh, leave exactly this information, we don't need to stress and put next you always can return for these steps to modify it according to your needs. Here, if I want to share any information on your most, yes, I want to share because I want to improve the system. Otherwise, if I don't share, they will not know, and as well, it's anonymous. So they will not know that specifically me. So I come here and put next. Here, the red appear if I want to add some integration. In my case, the red want to add my printer, my thermostat, and my Synology NAS. So I will not do it and put finish. Once that I finish the red appear the temperature that I am and some basic information. Here I can edit the cards according for my needs. Here I can manage my energy, maps, e history browser. But look, if you look here, you don't have the supervisor option. They advise you that you're gonna have limited option or limited application when you're running a container. So you don't have the supervisor where you can sell lots of applications. You can do the rest of integrations, you can do the rest of automizations, you can do exactly the rest of the activities apart for supervisory and backups that they told you. So guys, if you watch the video until now, it means that you like. And if you like, don't forget to leave your like. If you don't like, leave your dislike. Consider to subscribe for the channel and see you next time. Bye.